All right, hello and welcome back to my second part of my Retro City Rampage clone in Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be covering uh, the player jumping and sprinting. But first I'm just going to make a quick alteration. Uh, first off, I moved the set animate true from the player input to the respective move up uh, or down or whatever script. Uh, Methods, that's the one. Because it just it could be there and it'd be like easier to use. So if like an AI was calling it, it'd still be able to animate it without needing to call it in the play the various inputs or AI or whatever. So that just makes it a little easier to use. And the second thing is I made a mistake where I flipped the left up by accident. So on line one two nine of the person movement script, if you're following along, you can just change that from true to false because I missed that and I apologize for that. Uh, let's see. But yeah, today we are going to be covering jumping and sprinting. So I'll just show you. We've got a little demo of what the jumping is and you see as moving starts off slow and gets quicker and then jumping. And you can see that like I got a bit of collision detection just because in Retro City Rampage, when you jump on things like uh, players, ex not players, uh, like civilians, enemies, explosive barrels, they explode. So I just wanted a quick bit of collision detection to show that it could uh, detect it. Uh, let's see, first off we added, uh, needed a rigid body and box collider on the player and same on this. So we just have a quick uh, script that just basically checks for on collision ends 2D. If the player, if it's the player, if, it, if it's the player and if the player is jumping, then it'll change the color to blue and destroy the box glider. Which is just, that's just how the test works now. I've gone to the uh, jumping and sprinting. All right, so sprinting first. So we've got a uh, Boolean to say whether the player is sprinting or not. We've got a float, which basically acts as how long the animation runs for, I think. Yeah. And a sprint timer, which is basically like, how long does a player have to walk normally before the uh, before they start sprinting. It's, all right, so basically, when the player's walking, so we can see that if the player has been animated, so one of the uh, move functions is being called, and it's not jumping, then it'll, it'll call, and sprinting is false, it'll call this method, which counts down the timer. And if it's not, so say if the player's jumped, it'll set sprinting to false. So, and there's a value monitor, which just changes the values, which I'll show you now. So this is the sprint timer countdown. So basically while the player's walking, uh, this gets counted down. And if it's less than equals to zero, it'll set sprinting to true and reset the timer. So once sprinting is true, it'll, this checks for sprinting being true, this method. And if it is true, it'll set the speed to four and make the animation reset a lot quicker. So it'll do it every, I think that means it'll do 20 times a second rather than just 10 times a second, which would be for the walk. And uh, makes it four times faster because the speed's four instead of one, which, you know, how to do maths. And yeah, so that's how the sprinting works. Uh, they're called from here and here. So yeah. uh, what else? We've also got jumping. So if jumping is true, then it'll call a jumping move thing, which we've added a new one uh, method actually to the player input for jumping. So it just basically looks for if you've pressed spacebar, then it'll do call start jump in the person movement. And start jump basically just sets jumping to true. And as we can see from the update, when jumping's true, it'll call jumping move. Now, basically, there's a value called jump timer here and jump speed, uh, which is just how fast it moves. And this is like for controlling the going up of the jump and going down the jump timer. So if jumping up, which is a Boolean, is true, it'll take, reduce uh, jump timer and make the player move up, like move up times four times speed uh so it'd be like if you're sprinting and you jump 
then you'll jump higher than you would if you were just walking. And then once that reaches uh, zero, it'll set it to false, jumping up to false. So that means it'll move down. Uh, so the rebound, just like imitating physics. I don't think I can, well, I chose not to use physics, the UT physics for that, because I didn't really need to. And then once this gets more than equal to five, so it like resets it for the next jump, so you don't have to assign it again. Uh, then jumping up will be set to true, so once the next jump occurs, it'll go up again. But jumping is also set to false, so it doesn't do a second jump. Uh, yeah, that's it. I think that made sense. Uh, we're anything else? Uh, basically, there's a Boolean a method just called is jumping to return jumping, which is used in the jump collision. Here, and I can hear a train coming. That's fun. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I changed the animate to use the animate reset timer here because it's just easier to have more control over it than just using a normal number. Use a value instead. Uh, play. Variable, that's the word. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it for movement. So that's just the main change we made to the uh, jump input. That's the train. And yeah, what else? So we've added this bit, uh, sprinting, and the else bit, so it's like sprint into false if the player's not moving. Uh, value monitor, jumping, we changed the animate reset. Um, added the set animate true to all the movement instead of in the player input. Start jump, we added to just start the jump. Pretty self explanatory. Jumping move just like makes the player move up while it's true and down when it's false and then stops the jump. So that's that. Uh, sprinting it counts down to when the player can start sprinting and then changes the values for what, if they're sprinting or not. So they move fast or slow or whatever. And it's jumping. And here is the collision just a 2D object, 2D collider, and a sprite renderer. So yeah, that was uh, sprinting and jumping. A lot more simple than I thought it'd be. So cheers for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Go play Loud or Quiet and buy my asset pack and help me eat. <laughs> so yeah, cheers for watching. Bye.